In this video, we'll talk about integers, um, greater and less than symbols, absolute value of integers. Starting by defining the integers. So the natural numbers are the numbers occurring in nature. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, etc. No negatives, no decimals, no fractions. This would have been caveman walking out of the cave counting things. I can count three rocks. I can count four rocks. Um, whole numbers with the introduction of zero. Now we define a new set. The whole numbers are just the natural numbers and zero. Okay, it's expanded a teeny bit. Then the integers introduces the entire negative side of the number line. So integers are the negative and positive numbers and zero, only whole numbers, no decimals. Okay, so negative and positive and zero. A number line is the graph that we use to visualize the integers. I'm sure you've seen number lines before. They can be really helpful when adding and subtracting with numbers. You can count up the number line or down the number line if you're subtracting. Um, and zero is in the middle, positives to the right, negatives to the left. When we do get into graphing with the x and y axis, it's basically the x axis, right, with no y axis going through it. We're going to use the following symbols for comparing two integers. That first symbol means is less than. If you hold your hand up, uh, your thumb and pointer finger, um, and to create that little V shape, right? If it forms the letter L, it's a less than symbol. If it faces the other direction, that's going to be a greater than symbol. So for example, uh, negative 7 is less than 9. That's how you would read that. 2 is greater than negative 1, right? If it's further to the right on the number line, it's greater. And if it's further to the left, then it's negative. You can even compare two negative numbers this way. So if I had negative, um, it's become a pen. If I had negative 9 and negative 7 to compare, I'm thinking about which one is further up the number line. That would be the greater one. Um, and since negative 7 is further up the number line, negative 7 is going to be more than negative 9, or negative 9 is less than negative 7. Um, so you want to make your sign eating the bigger number, right? If you're trying to fill in the sign, you make it eating the one that is higher on the number line, or the bigger number. Absolute value. The absolute value denoted by these two straight brackets on either side of a number is the distance from zero on a number line. Um, so something like negative 5, when you put it in absolute value brackets, has an absolute value of regular 5 because it is 5 units away from 0. The absolute value of 5 is also 5. So absolute value does not mean opposite, right? Does not mean opposite. Opposite, right? A positive would become negative, a negative would become positive. That's not what absolute value does. Absolute value takes anything, no matter which side of 0 it's on, and simply counts how many spaces. One, two, three, four, five. When you're counting spaces, you're never counting negative. You're counting an absolute number of spaces. And so distance is always positive. So you're basically saying this is one, two, three, four, five units away. So the absolute value of five is five units. The absolute value of negative five is one, two, three, four, five units away. So the absolute value of negative 5 is also 5. It's a number of units, and it doesn't have any direction associated with it. So it's always positive. So you might have heard of absolute value, meaning make it positive, always positive. And indeed, that's what it is. Just be warned that if you had something like this, okay, inside of the absolute value symbols, I have a subtraction problem. It doesn't mean you make everything inside positive and then do the math. You would have to do the math inside first. So here I have 2 subtract 3. So if I'm subtracting, I have to imagine I'm like at 2 on the number line. I subtract 3 from that. Now I'm at negative 1. If I have negative 1 inside of these absolute value brackets, then I make it positive at the end. So the result would be positive 1. If you make it positive at the beginning, this 3 becomes a positive 3. Well, then you're looking at a completely wrong number. So you have to do whatever operations are inside of the absolute value first. Then, when it's all simplified, then it spits out a positive, okay, at the end. So it doesn't mean turn everything inside positive. It means the final result would be positive. Find the absolute value of these numbers. So we have um, negative 8 inside of the absolute value brackets is 8 units away from 0. 6 is 6 units away from 0. This is negative the absolute value of 8. So first I imagine the absolute value of 8, which is just 8. And then I'm making it negative. So it's the location of the negative means that the negative gets to stick. 
And then further practice with greatest common factor and least common multiple. We don't need to go over that in this video. Um, you can check back to the previous videos because you should practice this more as we keep moving forward. That's it.